This heat deflector mod I just installed really increased the capacity of the Weber Jumbo Joe. Today, I'll be cooking on it for the first time and I'll be cooking two racks of ribs. If you missed my last video and you're interested in this modification, please hit the link down in the description. And here's how to set it up. First, let's place some unlit charcoal in our grill. Next, let's add some wood chunks in for some smoke. Now, let's add about eight lit charcoals in the center. We don't need a lot to get started. The idea here is the lit charcoal will slowly ignite the unlit charcoal and will slowly catch, and it'll maintain low temperatures throughout the cook. This is known as the minion method. Put in our first pizza pan, then our second with aluminum foil, which I wrapped earlier with foil. Then followed by our grate, closed lid, and let's wait until it comes up to temperature. Again, if you need more details on this, I'll be posting link down below in the description. Earlier, I seasoned one of the ribs with a sweet rub, and the second one, I added a little bit of hot sauce and an all-purpose rub. Okay, so the grill has breached about 260 to 70, and it's time to put on the ribs. Now, the Weber Jumbo Joe is becoming one of my favorite grills, and now with this modification I just installed, it really increased the capacity. Once the lid is closed, it is time to wait. As you can clearly see, I kept a close watch on this grill to make sure it maintained proper temperatures. The Jumbo Joe held a very steady temperature between 225 and 250. It's been two hours and it's time to check the ribs. Ribs are looking good. Giving the rub a quick check and it's clear that the rub hasn't set yet. It needs a little bit more time. I'm gonna give it a quick spritz on some of the drier areas. I'm using half water and half apple cider vinegar. I'm also gonna give it a quick rotation. These are cooking pretty evenly, and this rotation is more out of habit than it is being necessary. Let's cover and give it another 40 minutes or so. Okay, so it's been about three hours and it's time to check these ribs out. None of the rub is peeling off. These are, these are good to wrap. Make sure you get enough aluminum foil. A little bit of that sweet rub that we used earlier, followed by good old stubs. This is gonna be our sweet rib. It's got good color. Ooh, nice color on the back. Let's do the same thing on this side. A little bit more rub, a little barbecue sauce. Let's add a little bit of this spritz. Again, this is just water and vinegar. Let's add a little apple juice. We're not gonna double wrap, we're just gonna leave it as is. Put this off to the side. Let's get our second one. For their second rib, I'm using some homemade spicy barbecue sauce. I made this barbecue sauce earlier. This is a ketchup-based barbecue sauce. So in a container, let's add some ketchup, mustard, vinegar, molasses, brown sugar, Worcestershire sauce, freshly ground pepper, and some paprika for color. I add a little bit of spice as well. These peppers came from my mom's garden, threw in my spice grinder, Give it a quick blend and it's good to use. Let's give it a quick mix. In a pan, let's cook down some onion and garlic. Add in our sauce to heat up. Mix, taste, and let it simmer. Add honey, molasses, or brown sugar if needed. Full list of this recipe will be down in the description. Let's add a thin layer onto our foil. As a reminder, this second rack is a spicy rib. I use It's Incredible Seasoning and use Hot Sauce Binder. It's got some great color, just like our first rack. Go ahead and spread. More barbecue sauce. More apple juice. We're gonna go ahead and put these back on the grill, meat side down, for maybe another hour, hour and a half. It's been two hours and let's check out our ribs. Let's remove the sweet rib from the foil. As we can clearly see, two hours was just too much. I got distracted with a separate cook, but I'm still sure these ribs are delicious. Yep. Let's remove the spicy rib from the foil. Since these are so tender, it just makes sense to first just remove the ribs from the grill. Now that both racks are on the grill, let's sauce. Overcooked, as you can tell, but this experiment worked. I'm gonna put this homemade sauce over these guys. Not too much. We did this the sweet sauce, the stubs. Spread it a little bit here. Won't take much longer here. Once the sauce sets, let's remove and taste. So 
we'll go ahead and take these out. Now let's take out the sweet ones out first. Check that out. Very saucy. This one, it seems to held out a little bit better. These are the spicy ones. These smell really, really good. I can't wait to cut into them. Now, before I cut into them, and if you're curious to know how much charcoal was left, here's what the Jumbo Joe looked like the next day. I was pretty impressed with the efficiency, and I can't wait to try it on a longer cook, like a pork butt or maybe even a brisket. Okay, back to our ribs. These ribs were so tender, and since the bones were very crooked, I kind of made a mess here trying to cut them. Luckily, the second rack was more successful. They held out much better than the first rack. Overall, I was very happy how both of these turned out. And yes, they even had a bit of a smoke ring. Great success. A quick little taste test, and yep, they were definitely worth the wait. Okay, the ribs were a little bit overcooked, but that has nothing to do with the Weber Jumbo Joe. It's my fault. I cooked them for way too long. Should have pulled them a lot earlier, but I still consider this a success because it did increase the capacity of my Weber Jumbo Joe. So I'm gonna definitely be trying this moving forward. It's, it's a good mod. So, so far I cooked a total of five rib videos. I cooked them now on the Weber Jumbo Joe, but I also cooked them on the Weber Smoky Mountain using that rib hanger. And I cooked them on the Weber Kettle using the Vortex on the Weber Kettle using the Santa Maria grill attachment. And I've also used on the Weber Kettle using no accessories whatsoever. I compiled all five of those videos up here in the playlist if you haven't checked them out. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm gonna eat more of these ribs. Time to get messy. Spicy one. It's my favorite.